Hello, everybody. I um, have been taking a lot of time off from modding, and you may have seen it if you are already following the channel. Uh, there are some projects and tutorials that are left unfinished right now, and I do have an intention of getting back to those and finishing them for you. Uh, however, I have uh, been playing a new game, and it's been taking up a lot of my time, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I love it despite all the problems, and it could be because I come from being a Bethesda games lover that I just... Yeah, there are bugs. Um, but, of course, I had to get into modding for it. It was just, if you didn't see it coming, you don't know who I am. Okay, um, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a couple little videos of just getting, um, introducing some people to modding. I'm by no way, shape, or form uh, an expert modder for Cyberpunk 2077 at all. <laughs> but I wanted to kind of show basically a little bit of how you get started and so today's video what i'm going to be doing is just introducing you to a few of the uh what's the word i'm looking for here modding tools uh, like most of my videos this is a uh, one take daily so there's going to be mistakes and the whatnot just bear with me okay it'll be fun it'll be lots of fun okay the very first thing that you're going to need to do need is something called cp77 tools and i'm going to have the links all down in the description Okay, now uh, CP77 tools is a, it's a kind of interesting thing. It's community made and there are intentions of raising it to the level of having like a graphical interface and the whatnot, having all kinds of individual tools built into it. But all you wanna do is just find the most recent version of it and go ahead and download that release. It does require net 5.0 and you click that link, it'll take you to something like this. I am in no way, shape, or form an expert on what any of this is. All I say is download the Windows versions that you're running. I just downloaded everything. So uh, I don't know anybody who plays games on x86 infrastructure or whatever, but so I just downloaded the x64 version installers for everything here um, for 5.0. Point two, so the SDK, which I don't think I need, the ASNet Core runtime, which I actually don't think I need, the Net Desktop runtime, which I think is the only thing I actually need, and the runtime. Uh, so just download those, install them. It's relatively straightforward. And with this bad boy, installing it is literally just finding a directory, unzipping everything into it, and then finding the DLL that's in your Cyberpunk install folder and moving that DLL, well, copying that DLL to the folder. That's all there is to it. Okay. Um, now, for what I'm going to be showing you guys, the major tool that I'm going to be using is find any hex editor, but uh, this hex editor in question here is 010, which is not free, but you do get to use it for 30 days, so just mod your ass off for 30 days and then call it quits. Um, the reason why this one's nice is someone in the community has written uh, this uh, BT, which is a binary transform, which uh, converts the hex into sort of like a readable breakdown of like what different things are okay again installing this is fairly straightforward installing this i have no idea how to install it properly i just opened it in my 010 editor and then i could use it later um to transform my files okay uh that's about it that's just going to get us started on modding for cyberpunk 2077 short video um Come back again, and we'll have another video pretty soon um, where I go through a couple examples of things that I want to mod. Okay. Wait.